this is really where we see all the many hats that a speech therapist wears. A speech therapist not only works on spoken language, but we also work on literacy. And literacy includes reading, writing, and spelling. Writing is a form of language, it's just a written form of language. And reading is a form of language in, am I understanding what I'm reading? Am I comprehending the language? Um, so children with language disorders, especially severe language disorders, will almost always have difficulties with reading and writing because they're all intertwined and connected. If we break down the fundamentals, if we break down just the earliest forms of reading, it's sounding out words. And let's say we've got a kiddo who is substituting a T for K, which is a common articulation substitution. So this child is saying something like tat for cat. So now if we're thinking about the words and we're trying to sound out the word and we're sounding out tat for cat, we're now spelling it as T-A-T instead of that C-A-T. So you can already see where this breakdown starts early on and where this breakdown can start to occur early on. So the speech therapist helps with that. We can also help kids understand words that they're having difficulty reading. It may not, as I mentioned before, it may not be an error with the decoding. Reading may not be the issue. It's more of, am I understanding what I'm reading? So the speech therapist helps here by working on vocabulary, working on syntax, making sure kids are understanding sentence structures. So it's not just I'm reading all of these words and I don't know what it means. Now I'm starting to be able to put it together and I'm getting the gist and I'm able to answer comprehension questions. And then as kids get a little bit older, there is another area where we see a breakdown. And as kids get into middle school, we see a breakdown in math. And it's not so much that, well, if you think about it, in the early years, Kids are learning the basic fundamentals. We're learning how to add, learning how to subtract, learning to divide and multiply, learning the fundamentals. Now, as we move on into middle school, suddenly math has turned into word problems. And so now I've got to get through the language of the problem before I even know how to figure it out or how to solve it. And again, the vocabulary is what can be difficult for our kiddos. So it's learning difference, product, greater than, less than, the sum, the most, the least, these can all confuse our kiddos sometimes. So we have, we see students who really loved math in their early elementary years. And then as they get a little older, it becomes a struggle. And it's not so much the math, it's the language behind the math and trying to figure out what is this question asking? Then I can perform the functions. So this is where we see speech therapists really do wear a lot of hats while we're working with kids to help figure out the foundation of the language.